The leaning helps, John. Oh no. Oh my gosh. We are grape jelly. At least the reload's not long. The leaning didn't help. It got me that far. God, this is gonna be like the death branded shatterer, right? He's gonna start reaching into the building. Oh, you've got braces? What orthodontist gave that big mother trucker braces? This guy is on an incredible scale. Ooh, it's got a gun. And it's aimed in a convenient direction. How fortunate for us. I played a Jurassic Park game like this in an arcade many times. I did not think the finale of this game would be surfing on a flying car with infinite ammo. It honestly never crossed my mind. I can't aim any more up than this. I have to wait till it floats back. It's Zaitan? Yo, Zaitan needed a phase two like this. God! How convenient! Oh my god, imagine stretching to reach that and you're tearing your insides apart as you reach. His whole weight is held up by his insides! Okay, center, I'm doing center of mass instead of the head. Fail. Yeah. Mm. The 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 long delay between the rocket getting to the target makes it uh, difficult to uh, hit it. Okay, he reacted to that. Maybe upper torso does more damage. Three shots remaining. Oh no! One shot remaining. Come on, hold still. Yes! The He just got slapped off the spike that was impaling his sternum. Imagine being that big and strong and losing to a dude that was impaled. Bet you feel stupid. I 
Of course, I'm in, in immense pain right now. Oh man, are you serious? Steam achievement, one of the many. Oh, he's pregnant. We gonna have babies. Juicy. Chat, the, over the reward is so much red jello. Oh, oh, unplug. Ew. Ew, Neo, you're in the Matrix. It takes a certain amount of bravery to find something connected into your spine and just rip it out. But I guess, you know, he's done that to a few enemies today, so he knew it had to be done. You guys ever watch movies where someone's like, they wake up in the hospital and they've got like IVs and they're like, and they just like rip them out like Logan. I, I always just do this when that happens. Wait, what? Oh, I can walk. I'm going to finish this. Is he just a brain in a jar? Oh my god, he's a brain in a jar. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Stomp it. You try to turn it off and on again. <laughs> Nice timing. Vital sign, sir. <gasps> Bayonetta! Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. Is Joseph alive? Maybe Joseph no, and... Not. Leslie? If the whole thing was in the Matrix chat, maybe our friends are alive. That's my first thought. Dude, how many levels in were we? We fought the monster, woke up in a tub, unplugged, fought the brain, and then woke up in another tub! Oh God, it's the doctor. We saw him get squished earlier on, like midway through the game. There's the Reuben jar. Dude, that means that whole procedure Reuben invented that they did on him was basically stuffing his brain in a jar and hooking it up. That looks like an Among Us. Leslie Withers. That was, but it was like a, wait, it was empty. I, I thought it was a body bag for a second. So is Leslie fine? Is Leslie evil? Is the bad guy in Leslie's head and controlling him now? Like freaking Dio? Wait, is that Leslie? And he should have milk just dripping off his clothes. No, there's Leslie. He's walking right past everybody.
I'm guessing he's using powers to make them not notice him or something. Like that. Do not roll credits. There's so many questions unanswered. Do not do it. Do not do it. I don't want to see directed by. I don't want to see produced by. I don't want to see the name of the artist. I don't want to see any of that. You keep telling this story. Muck you. Published by I don't care. Developed by By My Butt. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm so confused. Does the DLC or the sequel answer any of this? <sighs> By My Butt is a good developer. Oh my gosh. Well, this is officially the first horror game we've ever played on stream where I was like, I need more. Good music, though. <sighs> Only question I have is about the mid-cut with a female cop and her people pulling her out. Yeah. Yeah, the Bayonetta lady. Like, dude, so much. Like, when we would go into the room to do our talent points with the Bayonetta lady. And she was on a missing poster. Like, was that all in our head? Was she plugged into the system too and helping us? Do the DLC, then watch a lore video. So don't watch a lore video before the DLC. It didn't show Joseph. In the, yeah, I did see Joseph in the bathtubs. I just saw some cops. Oh, man. Is there any uh, post credit scenes? Anybody know? Morning stream of DLC. I almost never do morning streams on the weekends because family, but uh, Sunday's a 12 hour stream. Don't you dare end now. I don't want to see any patrons. I want more now. <laughs> There's no post credit. Steam achievements. First day and first step into darkness and another day on the job. Complete the game on, hold on a sec. What did I get? Complete the game on survival difficulty and complete the game on casual difficulty. Chat, I'm a gamer. Uh, what did I miss? Nightmare difficulty was not available at the beginning. Complete every collectible. <laughs> Open all the lockers. That was possible. I opened like 10% of the lockers. Fully upgrade all Sebastian's attributes. There's enough jello in the game to do that? The last thing of every tier was like 20,000 jello. My best friend, upgrade one, fully upgrade one weapon, fully upgrade three weapons, upgrade all weapons. Upgrade all options in the stock menu. Why can't I hold all this ammo? Use a secret explosive weapon to kill 10 enemies. Agony bolt effects negate results. Oh wow, you can't stun them first. Kill five enemies with each type of agony bolt. Kill 400 enemies. Finish the game with a clear time of under five hours. <laughs> what was my clear time? 16 hours? <laughs> uh, finish the game without upgrading any skills. 
Oh god. Finish the game on Akumu mode? You asked for it. Is that something above nightmare mode? Have they lost their minds? Get past them without a fight in chapter 2. His engine roars, but my knife is strong enough to take him out chapter 3. Knife beats chainsaw? You had to be- oh my god. Beat the chainsaw guy with a freaking knife? Not part of the job description. Get out without a scratch while the water is rising. Everybody gets one. You wouldn't reach out for a man clinging for his life. Chapter 6. I don't have time for this. I won't stay dead. Better only fight when I have to. This cave echoes... Oh, it's the the, the keeper. Uh, this cave echoes like crazy. Better put the gun away and keep quiet. Enough running. I'll burn her to the ground right here. Bathed in flames. What, what is that, like throwing matches on the, the fire, the, the Bernie lady and not running around? I'm not taking any chances. This bus can't take much more damage. Not a scratch on her. Oh, wow. The bus ride. Uh, lure an enemy with a phone call and then lock him in a room. <laughs> Use a single trap to kill two or more enemies in the assignment. Survive the duel without using any electronic devices in the environment. All you need is axe. Get a cadaver to grab and kill a haunted. Collect all research documents. Collect all personnel files. Collect all the hidden letters. Clear the assignment in Kurayami mode. What is that? Save Sebastian's life in the hotel. Get through the hotel without being spotted or killing any enemies. Defeat Ruvik before the final showdown and the consequence. What? Those are DLC achievements. Oh. Okay. I'll, I'll stop reading then. Alright. That's weird that they're there. Uh, clear bonus, machine gun acquired. All right, I'm guessing this is like in, uh, I've played Resident Evil 2, and at the end of the game you get like a rocket launcher, and you could just go back through the game again, and it's kind of like you've got god mode, because you're just blasting everything. I'm guessing this is for like replays. Rocket launcher. 50,000 skill points acquired. I beat the game. What does it matter? New game plus and model viewer can now be selected the main viewer. Yeah. You can now choose a new different difficulty setting when selecting your game. 102 deaths. If this was Celeste, that's a really good score. Okay. Wow. All right. Lot to unpack there. So, review. Let, let's let's get let's review the game. Uh, this is the most enjoyable horror game I think I've ever played up to this point. Uh, I mostly got into playing horror games because Chat loved watching me squirm, and I was I was fine playing them. I was willing to play them. Occasionally, there were good moments for me, like the end of Song of Horror. I was like, wow, that is so cool. That was such a great twist. For the rest of the game, I was just trying to survive. That's it, both real life and in game. Um, this one had me very engaged. The gameplay was fun, like you know, shooting one enemy, picking up his ax, killing another enemy, picking up his torch and killing a third enemy. Like that, I, that, I loved the feel of that, just using anything you could get your hands on in the environment. I loved the feel of that. Um, it, at times when it wanted you to do something precise, it felt a bit clunky because like your, your guy turned, like if you were like using a freaking, a small car, like you, you could not just turn, you had to like walk in a small circle to turn around. You couldn't just like turn your body. Um, so it, it felt like a little clunky at times and like doing really, you know, delicate things like walking a tightrope just felt like almost impossible. But if anything short of that, it didn't feel that bad. It didn't feel that bad. Um, I loved the, I mean, the story was confusing AF, but I loved the journey. It, just, it, it was just constant craziness, like, you know, the, the city sliding around, you know, that the, made me think of uh, the... <laughs> The, the city at the end of Dark Souls 3 uh, made me think of Inception and Doctor Strange with everything moving around, uh, the monsters. 
yeah, the, ga the game's got a lot of charm to it. Uh, yeah, I am absolutely up for playing the DLC as you guys requested next time, so stay on the lookout for that. For now, uh, this has been The Evil Within.